morning, everyone. Today is another day of Vlogtober. It's a little bit later on in the morning because I got to sleep in a little bit. I went to bed. I went back to bed after the kids left for school. <laughs> oh, it was just, it was nice to get a few hours extra of sleep. But of course, now I feel like I'm behind on everything and I'm not going to be as productive. And, you know, it's, you know, if you give in a little bit here, then you got to take away from somewhere else, right? That's just how it usually is. But yesterday I did not get to film at all. We were dealing with something. Unfortunately, one of our pups got into a fight with another dog that was on our property overnight. And she was pretty banged up. Nelson took her to the vet yesterday. And unfortunately, she's a bit hurt. And Nelson and I are trying to figure out what our best options are at this point. He's actually at the vet right now with all the dogs because he's going to give the boy dog, Axel, his shots because they wouldn't do it yesterday while they were there. Um, and then we're going to board them for the weekend because we're actually traveling to take my kids to my parents' house for fall break. They want to spend their week there with them. And honestly, it'll just really help us get a few things taken care of. And then the kids can just have fun with my parents. And they're really looking forward to it. And I'll probably get Nelson to get on camera today and kind of talk a little bit more about it and kind of what we're facing because he's been talking to vets more than one. And unfortunately, nobody around here can do anything for a pup. I mean, she's, she's okay. We just are trying to figure out what her options are. She had a couple of scratch marks, but she's got a, like a hip injury. And I feel like, you know, we just can't catch a break sometimes. And the thing is, is that she did exactly what she was supposed to do. Protect us. But she was still a pup. Anyways, so he's out doing that right now. I have got laundry to do because it is what I do every day around here. <laughs> I've got to get the baby stuff um, cleaned up. But today is also going to be a really busy day because... We have to pack up the kids, um, get everything in their bags because tomorrow there's supposed to be a fall festival, which we were supposed to go to. I'm not sure if that's even going to happen now. And then tomorrow night we're going to a quinceañera, which we've had, you know, um, planned for a while. Then afterwards we were supposed to go take the kids to my parents. So I have no idea what we're going to do tomorrow, the weekend, how we're going to go about everything. I'm just kind of waiting for Nelson to get back so we can just sit down and discuss what our options are and what we need to do. Um, and so that's kind of where I'm at this morning as I come to you today. So let's get started with my day. All right. So I've been asked how I um, do my coffee. And basically we use whole milk in the house and I just put a cup of whole milk into my little saucepan. It's got like little measuring like lines back there, which is actually really, um, bless you, which is actually really convenient, but we do it, you know, old school Puerto Rican style in this house. We love to, you know, um, take our milk to boiling point and it gets really frothy and stuff. However, it does develop a skin on top of it, so that's why I use a strainer. Now, I like to use espresso for my coffee, and I do have an espresso machine, and this is a coffee that I use. It is the best coffee. We've been using it ever since my mom discovered it at Publix, and then she converted all of her friends to drink the same coffee, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but... Um, yeah, this is a coffee that I use and I just put a shot of espresso in there as you can see right before it like comes up because sometimes it does rise if you let it, you know, um, boil too long and it will boil over and you don't want that because then you'll have a mess that's really hard to clean up on your stove. But 
I, you know, put the espresso in there and then Julie liked to add a shot of my vanilla extract. And this is just a homemade stuff. I made a tutorial on it a few months ago and it's just, you know, vodka and vanilla beans. <laughs> and I just like to add a little shot in there because I love vanilla lattes, but I don't like the extra sugar from like the, the syrup. So I just kind of just pour it right in there and it works. And then I just, you know, pour it in here. And that is how I take my coffee in the mornings. <laughs> You'll probably notice that a couple of days ago I did a vlog and the grass was all brown. But then Helene came by and now we have green grass again. Alright, so I am in the camper. I don't know if I've actually said this in one of my videos, but this is where we keep all our clothes, as you can see. We have clothes everywhere. I usually hang up delicate clothes to dry up here. And the kids have like their bin of clothes. I mean, it looks absolutely terrible, but we just have nowhere else to put them. There is no closet like space or there is a closet in the cottage, but that closet has a water heater and it has a dresser and cleaning supplies and the water filtration system. So it doesn't really act like an actual closet. So we have to use this and we've already gone through all of our clothes as far as what doesn't fit them anymore so we can make space. And I literally have like one bag full, two bags, almost a complete bag full. And then I have another one over here that's almost full as well. And that's just clothes that don't fit the kids anymore that we literally went through maybe about a week and a half or two ago and they tried on everything. <laughs> I make them do this like twice a year and whatever doesn't fit at that time, it either gets passed on or, you know, donated or that kind of stuff. So I have that in here that needs to go. And then like, if you notice the bed is open over there, well, that's because that's where my clothes and, and Nelson's clothes are like underneath the bed in like little storage bins. So that bed usually stays propped up. <laughs> And again, it's just, it's just nothing but clothes. It looks like an absolute like mess, like all these folded clothes over here, towels. And then I also keep extra toiletries. Now I also have these bins right here that I need to go through because that's the winter stuff from last year. And that stuff hasn't been gone through yet. So I still have three more bins and actually two more in the shed of just winter clothes. <sighs> And I bet you half of that stuff doesn't even fit them anymore. So that's another thing that we have to do. Right now, I was in here, though, because I'm looking. Each of the kids have, like, a these, like, weekender bags and stuff. And I was looking for them because they need to pack. This afternoon. <laughs> Just so that we have mostly everything done for the weekend before they go and travel to my parents' house. Nelson is still trying to figure out what we're going to do with our poor little doggy. He's been on the phone with different veterinary hospitals and clinics. And apparently not everybody does the type of surgery that she needs. I've been on the phone myself trying to get information as much as I can get. Um, as far as, you know, what her quality of life is going to be. I had to restart the video again because the air conditioning was about to kick on <laughs> and it gets really loud in here and I can't vlog. So yeah, we have been trying to figure out what the best course of action is for our little puppy. And that's got me stressed because obviously that's, it sounds like it's going to be a very expensive fix. So we're at a crossroads right now. We still haven't figured out what we're going to do because we're, we've been on the phone all day. Um, so that's one more thing that's heavy on our minds right now. And let's see, I'm about to go pick up my youngest or I keep saying my youngest, but my youngest is my baby. I'm sorry. It's, I've called her my youngest for nine years. So, but I'm about to go pick up my nine-year-old. <laughs> And, um, she is about to be let out at school tomorrow. We already had a whole day planned for the kids, you know, the festival and then the party in the evening. 
And then Sunday we were supposed to go down to take the kids to my parents. And, you know, it's like we just threw a wrench and now we have no idea what we're going to do. So <laughs> this is just one of those days where just things just keep piling on and piling on. And, you know, no wonder sometimes I just, I just don't feel so good. But again, I'm going to try and stay positive. The good thing is, is that the kids get to look forward to a week of rest and fun with my parents. My parents are looking forward to it. They're looking forward to it. And honestly, it'll just be nice to have a little bit of a break, you know? I always think of them first for myself. And if they can go and have a good time and rest and relax and have some space because my parents' house is much bigger, they'll be able to have their own rooms. You know, they can spread out. And, you know, they really do love going to visit their grandparents. So if they can have that, it'll just make me so happy for them. You know, while me and Nelson, you know, try to figure out the big stuff. So now I'm just going to go do another load of laundry, and I'm gonna go pick up my kid. All right, so you guys must have seen that my sourdough starter has risen. It is alive. <laughs> so I can do sourdough again. It's going strong over two years. Hasn't let me down. So that was good. That was good to see. That was really good to see. Um, now I'm in here. I'm trying to get as much clothes as I can washed. First of all, since the kids are going to be away, I want to make sure that they have several clean clothes and outfits for the week with my parents. Two, I also don't want to do laundry over the weekend because I actually want to take a break from laundry because this is so tiring. As you can see, I'm always doing it. And um, three, I have a lot of stuff to do tonight because I've got two sets of clothes to get ready for tomorrow. One is I need to make sure that everybody has their clothes for an early um, outing. We are going to go tomorrow to another fall festival. This one is actually in our little town and we missed it last year so we want to you know make sure we go this year we've been looking forward to it for a couple weeks now so we're going to do that first thing and I need to make sure everybody has their clothes ready that way we can get up early get dressed and head on down the mountain two I want to get the clothes for the quinceanera ready because I don't want to be ironing when we come back from the festival I just want us to come back take quick showers get dressed and head on out so I've got to get that second set of outfits you know, taken care of as well. But I do have a little issue. My nine-year-old's outfits, she's got two little options. She's got this little dress that I got at Kohl's the other day and it's adorable on her and she loves it, but it's a little bit loose. So I'm going to have to try and take it in a little bit. I do have another option. It's a little blouse and skirt option that she can wear. And you know, that one still is a little bit loose up top but I think I can make it work. I'm not sure which one we're gonna go with. In the end, I want her to decide, and then I'll just hand sew some stitches on this one and then maybe make it a little bit tighter on the bodice. And that should work, at least for a quick fix, you know, one day situation. And then I can, you know, take it in maybe a little bit better when I have my sewing machine here, or maybe she'll even grow into it. We'll see. <laughs> so there's that. Um, and I have to make sure I take care of that before tomorrow because I don't wanna be sewing tomorrow. And it is unfortunate that I don't have my sewing machine here. It's still packed. Everything is packed. And, you know, I have to do this by hand. But I have a little small sewing kit that I bought when we first came out here. And, you know, I've used it to sew buttons back on or a little hole in a shirt. So I think it will work for this. I have the baby laundry right here. And I actually don't store the baby's clothes here. That's the only person who has clothes that I store in the cottage is the baby. Simply because... I don't want to have to come out here anytime I need an outfit for her. She usually, you know, babies, 
can get dirty or spill something on themselves. And so before she was born, I bought this little dresser on Amazon and we built it and it's in that little closet, the one that's like a utility closet with the water heater and everything. That's where we store her clothes. That way it's out of the way. Um, and it, it works there because again, it's easily accessible. And if I need like a burp cloth or a new blanket or, you know, a new outfit or something like that, it's there and I don't have to come out here and get it. So I'm taking this one with me and I've got to come back and get all of the outfits for tomorrow. All right, I'm in the camper and I have everything just kind of splayed out on the bed. <laughs> this is what um, we're doing. I have two options. I have this floral piece as well as this one. This black one just came in and I have it in this color. And it's actually a really pretty dress. doesn't look like much on the hanger, but when you put it on and the little bows on the um, sleeves kind of dress it up. It's, it's simple, but in black, it looks really pretty. Of course, I have this one. And I'm just going to get these ready tonight because I still haven't made my decision. This one needs to be ironed. This one doesn't. And then I'm just going to see which one just makes me feel better when I wear it and that's the one that I'll go with. For Nelson, I am doing this button up shirt. I just got it at Kohl's. I had a 30% off coupon, that's why I went shopping. <laughs> and um, these navy dress pants. So I'll get those ironed for him. For my nine year old, the one that I need to figure out what we're gonna do, I have this cute little outfit. It's um, like a blouse and skirt. And together it actually looks like a dress because you don't really see the seam when you put it on. This one is really pretty and it kind of goes with the fall theme. So she has that option. Then the other option that she has is this one. And this is the dress that I just bought at Kohl's as well. And it's a little bit wide on the chest for her and so what I'm thinking is I can probably take it in like right here temporarily with like a hand stitch on both sides and probably wouldn't you know be able to tell much so I'm hoping I can do that here and here and then she can wear it like that if she decides to wear this one it's actually a really nice quality dress and she loves the fact that it has a little matching scrunchie with it so she saw it she loved it and so she, I think she wants to wear this one more than this one, but I just have to see if I can make it work. So I have that for her. My oldest has this one and this dress she's had. It still has a tag on it, but I bought it last year for our family pictures and she ended up going with something different. And we still had this one that was unused. And I said, this is perfect. It looked really good on her last year. She hasn't really gained much weight because she's still very thin. So this fits her fine and she, you know, she can wear this tomorrow. So that's what she's going with. My son, we have a shirt for him. This is a brand new shirt from my little Kohl's outing. He doesn't like wearing button up shirts. He doesn't like wearing anything dressy. I have um, khakis for him. So that's what he's going to go with. And then my littlest, <laughs> I got this one. I thought it was so cute. The fall colors, the pockets like the 90s vibe I don't know it's adorable and this actually isn't really thick so I think she'll be okay it's indoors obviously so it shouldn't be you know too cold or too hot it should be nice and comfortable for everybody so that's kind of what we're looking at for our little outing tomorrow night I'm about to head back to make dinner but I hear a lot of banging coming from the house I want to check up on Nelson to see what he's up to Real quick. What you doing? <sighs> Baby looking a little rough. I know. <laughs> I need some new drill bits. Well, that's a guy that has a lot on his mind. He spoke to several places and not a lot of people are open to that surgery for a dog. You have to go to an orthopedic surgeon 
for what's wrong with her. And even though it's a serious operation, nobody will operate till Monday anyways. And that's if they can fit us into their schedule. So I don't know. It's something that seems like an emergency isn't being treated as one. And now we're facing a huge cost that we were not expecting. And we're in the process of this huge build. And just like everybody else in the U.S., the world, we're struggling right now as far as, you know, everything being so expensive these days. We could let her heal because she's still a puppy and that is an option. However, she will have a limp. And then when she gets older, she may have arthritis. Um, or we can do the surgery. She should heal okay. Obviously have a better quality of life because she won't be limping. And faced with a lot of hard decisions the next few days. And honestly, I don't know what to do. Because we've never been in this situation before. I stayed up pretty late this night and everybody had gone to sleep so I decided to just go ahead and finish out my day and just do a voiceover to wish you all a good night and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, adios!